The minority in parliament has threatened to boycott the president's State of the Nation address next week if government fails to settle MPs' common fund. A crunch caucus meeting of the minority group on Wednesday considered the action stating that Friday, February 14, is the deadline for this. MP for body, uh, Sam, Samson Ahin, spoke to Komla Kluche. We are considering strongly to boycott State of the Nation address if the government refuses to release the MP shares of the third quarter of the 2019 Common Fund. Almost two months ago, the government released the District Assembly's share of the third quarter of the Common Fund 2019 to the assemblies, minus the MPs. And we want explanations to why the government will send the district assemblies part and then leave members of parliament. If not, as a result of the fact that this year is an election year and the government has taken the deliberate decision to prevent us or deprive us from getting resources. And what is informing your choice of deliberate decision? I'm saying this because we have realize that because this year is election year, the government doesn't want the opposition MPs to get hold of resources so that we can work in our, in our constituencies. You are not saying that they have sent that of the majority MPs and yours has been left, is it? It's strange to us that they have sent the, 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 that portion of the districts, the various districts, to them. And it is strange to us that they left the MPs. But the MPs include both majority and minority. That's what we are saying. Well, so that's the situation there with uh, the minorities threatened. I, I, I've been joined on the telephone by the Deputy Majority uh, Chief Whip, uh, MP for Panda Constituency, uh, Matthew Nyandam. Uh, Mr. Nyandam, thank you for time. Good evening to you. First of all, do, do you have some explanation as to why this MP's third quarter common fund has not been released as yet? <laughs> Good evening to your, your listeners. Obviously... Uh, I think that when it comes to statutory payments, I cannot speak on authority because it comes from the Ministry of Finance. But as a whip, who cares about the welfare of members and the developmental projects that we are all embarking on? I have some idea to share. And I must also say that what was wrong yesterday that we all spoke about cannot be right today. And when it comes to this particular common fund payment is not new to the house. Governments upon governments sometimes are not able to meet the deadlines that the formula sets for them to do. So I will agree that this common fund issue has been an issue that as whips we are working so hard to address. We've made a lot of progress. And I'm, I want to assure my colleagues that by next week, a lot of positive indication has been put out there that our project funds will be released and members can carry out with their developmental projects in their constituency. But obviously, I cannot give you a straightforward answer as to why it has not been paid. But then I again, well, but you make the point answer. that by next week, they w the monies will be released. Yes, because we had meetings upon meetings with the Deputy Minister of Finance who is in charge of some of these things, and a lot of assurances have been given. By all of last, last, last week, I must say, the Finance Minister was not in town. Uh, he came at the latter part of, of the week, and the indication is that God's willing, uh, by next week, this money will be paid. But I am, I am a bit worried, and I must say that mm -hmm. members will not hold the house into ransom by saying that if common fund is not being paid, they wouldn't come to the floor to well, do well, well, But, but the feeling they have is that, I, I mean, have, the minority have, MPs I have. I have, have. difficulty in that. Yeah, but the feeling the minorities MPs have is that this is some form of a sabotage because, I mean, this is an election year and, and they need these monies to obviously undertake projects that would, you know, appeal to their constituents. 
Well, I, I, like I said, it's not, it's not new. And like I said, what was wrong yesterday cannot be right today. We have sure. spoken about the delays of payment of some of these statutory payments. Once I was in position, I was so restless about it. Today, I will not say it is right because it has delayed and right. I'm in government. I will not say that. Right. But I must also say that if it is sabotage, they have not paid the majority members and left out the minority members. We are right. all in the same basket. We have all not been paid. So obviously, that cannot be a sabotage. Are they right. sabotaging members of parliament or they are sabotaging only the minority mm. MPs? Obviously, that cannot be the truth. The truth is that we've made a lot of progress, and I'm assuring members that by next week, some of these statutory payments that have not been paid will be paid. Okay. We'll be counting the days and definitely get back to you for some answers if that is not done. So that's Matthew Nyendam, his Deputy Majority uh, Chief Whip, Member of Parliament for the Pandai constituency there.